welcome back everyone to another episode of World's Dawn on a rainy Saturday by the looks of things. So let's check out the TV. Uh, home shopping program for urban skyscape painting. I don't know if I really want that. I feel like um, I haven't really started decorating my house yet, but I don't know if uh, like a cityscape is really fitting with the aesthetic that I'm planning to have when I do decorate it, so I don't think we're going to take it. Yeah, let's not take it. Uh, and the news, Paxil is leaving Sugar Blossom today. Don't forget him to wish him safe travels. Cool. Uh, so let's feed the pooch, Wizkid, and we'll head out and then we've got to have a chat today. Speaking of Paxel, here he is. Good morning, Patch. Did you get some decent sleep after the festival last night? I'm leaving town today, but wanted to chat for a few minutes before I go. Would you like to take a short walk? You've really settled into Sugar Blossom, haven't you? Bali was telling me about all the amazing things you've accomplished. First of all, you've shipped out 68 crops and earned a total of 3,713 coins selling good goods. Truly impressive numbers. You helped out the mayor when he was sick by cooking that stew. What a kind gesture from a brand new villager. Not to mention your performance at last night's Misty Music Festival. It took a lot of guts to get up on that stage and dance. Anyway, even though I'm extremely happy to see how well you've settled in, that's not the reason I wanted to talk to you. You know the story Amber told you before the Misty Music Festival, the one about the shepherd and the princess? When they came to hide in Sugar Blossom, legends say a mystical shroud settled over the village, protecting it from the war that ravaged the countryside. That story is true. The shroud was created by the Feral Shades, the very same nature spirits who helped Noah save Sugar Blossom from famine 30 years ago. I believe that if we want to save this beautiful village and keep more kind folks from being forced out of their homes, then we'll almost certainly need to find the Feral Shades. And there's one more thing. I found out that the five spirits represent five different traits. Generosity, perseverance, friendship, love and respect for nature. From what I read, it seems the Feral Shades will only appear to individuals who display these positive traits. It makes sense since it describes Noah so perfectly. Maybe if you can prove to the Feral Shades that you're worthy of their help, they will make themselves known to you. Of course, there's no way to know for sure. I'll continue to research the mysterious spirits in my travels, and I'll be sure to share my findings when I return in a few weeks. Until then, begin looking around town for good ways to practice generosity, perseverance, friendship, love, and respect for nature. The more you get to know your fellow villagers, the more comfortable they'll be sharing their knowledge or perhaps even helpful memories about Noah's life. Do your best, Patch. I'm counting on you. Cool. So it looks like now we have some idea about how we can um, uh, get the Feral Shades to appear for us. Uh, and we can start working towards that. Um, so that's cool, but there, I did want to have a quick chat with you guys about um, the series and where it's going and all that. Uh, so I'm still having a lot of fun um, playing this series, and uh, but I feel like we're getting to a point in the game where it's starting to get a little bit monotonous maybe to watch. Uh, so we're doing a lot of the same thing over and over. There's a lot of having to um, tend the farm and feed Chuckles and feed Wizkid and uh, talk to all the villagers. Uh, and go to the mine. Um, so obviously that's not something that you guys want to watch in every single video and I don't want to um, keep putting out videos that are just the same every time. So I think um, maybe what direction we're going to take is we might I might start skipping rather than showing you guys like a whole day or a whole two or three days uh, like I have been. I might start skipping um, the days that are less interesting where there's less stuff going on uh, and then skip and bring you back in on the parts where we've actually got some interesting things happening like um, if we manage to speak to the Ash and Fox next Wednesday I'll bring you guys in and we can watch that or um, when I make a, a big purchase like I do want to get 
um, a kitchen ice box and I want to get uh, some more animals and things like that so we'll bring you guys back in for stuff like that and any other interesting things that might crop up and of course um, uh, if we manage to uh, get anything new out of Annabelle I'll show you guys that uh, but yeah in the meantime we might just start skipping uh, ahead through the uh, less interesting parts and, uh, and so you guys don't have to watch the same thing over and over again and that way as well we get to see more of the game faster uh, so I get to play through it faster and see um, more of the the different seasons that are coming uh, I'm especially looking forward to seeing winter uh, with everything covered in snow um, and I want to show you guys all the different seasons as well so uh, that way we get to play through the game faster and you guys get to see more of the content um, rather than just the same thing all the time so I think that's the direction we're going to take so um, uh, I'm gonna start that now so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do all the chores and the boring stuff and I'll come back with you guys when we've actually got something interesting to share uh, so one thing we're going to start doing, guys, because it's uh, already been hinted at in the game, and also one of my subscribers uh, mentioned that it's a good idea to start doing this, is we're going to start donating coins to the town hall. Uh, so this looks like the donation box for it here. Uh, yes. And we'll give... We might give 500 for now, because I want to have enough left over to buy our kitchen ice box later. Um... But yeah, we'll start, whenever we have some spare coins lying around, we'll come in and drop them in the donation box. And um, yeah, I think that's one of the requirements for getting some of the uh, villagers to move back, the ones that have already left. And also probably it's the way that we get the um, one of the feral shades, the one that uh, likes generosity um, to appear to us possibly. So we'll keep dropping in whenever we have spare coins to do that. Oh, looky here, everybody. Look what's on the floor over here. It looks like Chuckles has laid an egg. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. I don't know he's happy and healthy. Cool. I don't know whether that means we still have to let him outside, because it's a bit of a pain to do that every day. Uh, so I might try leaving him inside for a while and see, uh, find out if he keeps laying eggs for us. Uh, and that'll be one less thing that we have to do every day, is remember to let him out and put him back in. So hopefully he keeps laying eggs and is happy to stay inside. So check it out guys, I just decided to dig here randomly at the beach because why not, I had some energy left over and I've taken to just digging around town in random spots and I found a Mystic Ocarina. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is, it's under special. Enchanted flute covered in strange markings tingles when charm fairies are nearby. So we can play it, and nothing happens. But apparently it will let us know when there are charm fairies nearby, which is cool, I guess. I don't know what charm fairies do, but I'm sure we'll find out. Okay, so I just thought I'd stop in and check out uh, whether we can buy the upgrade to the watering can yet. 220, yes! Let's upgrade the watering can. Awesome. Use it well and often, growing crops day in and day out is hard work but you've got to keep at it. Cool. So I'm not sure exactly how much that's going to water now um, but I think I think it holds more water as well as waters more than one patch at a time so we can't test it today because uh, it's raining but we will test it as soon as possible and see what it does. Okay guys, so last time I was in Benjamin's store right here, he said uh, I need to break eight more rocks to upgrade my pick, and I have done that now. Oh, and we've got a conversation here as well. Hey there Sparrow, what brings you into our shop on such a dreary day? I've been so busy at the bakery lately, uh, braving the rain today was my only choice. I'm looking for some sort of rack to store spices. It doesn't have to be very big, but sturdy enough to hold little jars full of basil, chives, garlic, things like that. I'm always misplacing them. Well, we might have an old shelf lying around, but I think I, it'd be better to build you a brand new custom spice rack. Labelled holders, fancy swiveling base. That sounds amazing. Should we talk to Benjamin about designing it? Benjamin, you insult me, Sparrow. No way. This spice rack is going to be a bona fide Hunter original. Don't you worry. I've already got an idea of how it'll all work. I shouldn't have doubted you. And payment? What sort of damage are we looking at? Well, I can probably cover all the materials myself. I was thinking something besides coin for payment, actually. 
Remember that pizza you made for Bloom's birthday last year with all the toppings? So no more. I'll start gathering ingredients as soon as I get back to the bakery. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see if we can upgrade our pick now. We should be able to. I'll spin it out. Upgrading your pickaxe? I'm, I was trying. Uh, I am... I want to upgrade my pick. Oh, are they swapping places now? Can I not do it now? I guess Benjamin has to be behind the counter for me to be able to do it. Oh, we'll try again another day. Okay, we're going to go down to the shop here and see if we can buy a ice box so that when it switches over to uh, summer, we don't lose all of uh, the uh, crops that we've got harvested. You need a kitchen ice box if you don't want all your food items to spoil after the end of each season. Yes. Cool. Awesome. So we got an ice box, guys. And it looks like we've got a visit from someone here. Morning, Patch. I've noticed what a great job you've been doing with WizKid lately. That pooch really adores you. We Sugar Blossom shopkeepers are happy to let your dog do errands for you. Just pin some money to WizKid's collar and send the pup along with a note about what to buy. Sure, it's a convenient way to save yourself a trip, but it'll also give WizKid important exercise and a sense of accomplishment. I hope to see that pooch stop by our shop sometime, you hear? See ya, Patch! Well, that's cool. Looks like WizKid can go and do our errands for us. I probably will um, only do it on the days when I'm super busy, though, because uh, if I go myself, I get to talk to everyone and get our friendships up with everyone, so we'll probably keep doing it that way. Okay, let's test out our new watering can here and see what it does. Oh, okay. It does it like that. That's, um, interesting. I'm sure there's a way to get the most out of that. Oh, it's empty already. Um, how would it be best to... Oh, thanks, WizKid. Uh, start there. And then go there. And then... There. And there. Hmm. That's, that's... Yeah, I'm going to have to work out what the best way of watering is now to get the most out of that, because as it is, I can't dig there, can I? No, it's not. Oh, it's a sage block. With a pl with a prowleth, the ashen fox. He's up in the backwoods. Verily so. What do you got for me, sage glop? Sinker drops times three. I haven't worked out what the sinker drops are for yet. I keep using them randomly to fish with, but I don't see any difference when I do, so I'm not sure. Yes, yes, we'll leap on you. Bye. Uh, See, so yeah, I have to uh, keep. Uh, I have to work out the best way to use the watering can to get the most out of it. Um, see what, uh, see what we can work out. Because I think at the moment I'm still using using it twice per. Uh, plot, which is almost as much as I was before, so it hasn't saved us that much time, just made it a little bit different. Uh, anyway guys, today is uh, the second spring market, it is the 24th of spring, so we're going to head on over to the market and check out what's going on there today. Uh, so let me cut and I will be back with you when we get to the spring market. It's such a lovely day for the spring market, isn't it? As if nature herself were watching over Sugar Blossom. Noah came up with the idea of a town-wide market many years ago. Goodness no, uh, goddesses know everything this village owes that to that man. 
Um, the abbot's telling me stories about the first spring market ever held. Don't tell him, but I never realised how old he was. <laughs> Are you looking to buy something specific today, Patch, or just poking around? I'm just poking around. Thanks, Bryn. I might talk to Petal before the market comes to a close later tonight. She usually has some delicious recipes on offer. Amber and I bought some trinkets from our shop today. Step around if you're interested. I've lost count of how many markets I've been to since coming to Sugar Blossom. I really love the festive atmosphere of these events. What have you got? Black bangles. Secrets Long Forgotten, that's... what is that? Is that a music track, maybe? Oceanic Mist. Mm. Glass bottle. I'm tempted to buy another glass bottle, but we don't have that much spare cash. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't buy anything, it's fun to visit the plaza on market days and see everyone. My wife is selling some of her favourite recipes today. Do you do much cooking, Patch? Not as much as I'd like to, Noah. Not Noah. Barley. <laughs> I don't see why the village doesn't gather like this more often. Forget work. <laughs> Righto. Benjamin used to run a small uh, stall at the market, but lately he says it's too much of a bother. Benjamin sounds like a bit of a grump. Glad to see you're in a chatty mood, dear. The best thing about Sugar Blossom Markets is getting so many wonderful people together. Have you bought anything, Patch? I'm torn between a promising recipe or a new piece of artwork for the tavern. Hi, Annabelle. The spring market is just one more reason why we're so lucky to call Sugar Blossom home. You know, stars above. Do you think I should go restrain my brother? Cake. Cake. <laughs> what have we got? Plain cake. Breaded pudding. Crunchy toast. Breakfast muffins, supreme pizza. Um, what do I want to buy? Uh, I've got a feeling that's going to take a lot of ingredients, but you know what? Worth it. We'll take it. Yeah. I'll make Cole watch our stall so I can mingle and shop. Sweet deal, yeah. <laughs> Are you interested in some tasty recipes? I already bought one. Petal, don't push your luck. Okay, cool. So that's the second spring market and the last one of the season. So the next market we'll be going to will be the summer market. Okay, guys. Uh, <clears throat> so it's Wednesday, the 25th of spring here. And uh, I've just watched the most recent episode of Prophecy Quest, and now I've flipped over to the news, and it's reminding us that the Ashen Fox is up in the woods today, so we're definitely, definitely going to check that out today. In fact, we're going to do it um, before we do anything else. So let's see about... is this... no? Charm? There we go, Ashen Mask. Let's put our Ashen Mask on. Oh, look at that. Some... Ashen mask. Uh, so let's head. Oh, we've just quick, quick check this uh, and feed Chuckles before we forget to. And then we're going to head over uh, and talk to the Ashen Fox uh, so that we don't forget again. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, here we are in the backwoods. And where are you, Ashen Fox? There he is. Hello! <laughs> Greetings, cunning adventurer who wears my face. It is rare that a human approaches me so, and even more so that he understands the words of an ashen fox. Yet words can be twisted. Remember this, adventurer. The truest language is action. Humans speak on and on about hard work and accomplishment, but only the hardiest of souls prove their worth with their actions. Come to me with proof that you have accomplished great feats around Sugar Blossom, and I, and in return, I will offer you the treasured wisdoms of an ashen fox. You have recorded five marks thus far. Wonderful work, adventurer. I shall offer you a small nugget of wisdom for your efforts. Tell me, is there a young female that interests you? I like Annabelle. 
beautiful girl, and cunning too. She has that lovely ability to see poetry in the world around her. Make sure to show respect for the trees and soil to win her fancy. Gifts would not go amiss either. Try presenting her with apple tea cake whenever you can. Love is a wonderful thing, but it doesn't develop overnight. Oh, I got an apple tea cake! I shall return to this place in another seven days. Farewell for now, adventurer. who play those beautiful notes, pleased to meet you. I'm Marrow, one of the ten charm fairies who call this village home. So I was just running along guys and I heard a little uh, tone which uh, must have been my ocarina. So I played it and the charm fairy appeared. We're a bright and spirited bunch we are. Our magic can cheer folks up even when they don't know we're nearby. If you like, I'll be happy to share my charms with one of your lovely neighbours. To whom should I pay a magical visit? Uh, Liam... Violet or Paxel? Um, I feel like... I've got a feeling this maybe increases our friendship with the person. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, in either case, I think Violet is our best bet um, because we've been uh, gaining friendship with her whenever we work at the shop and whenever we go to the shop to speak to her. So she's probably one of the best, uh, best options for who we're going to become friends with first. So I'm going to say Violet. I'm on it. So long, my musical friend. Cool. Speaking of Violet. Here she is. Let's first upgrade their water can. Can we do it again? Oh, we can do it again. Yes. Use it well and often. Okay, I wonder what this new one does. Um, we'll have to find out at some point. Alright, so let's check out this uh, new and improved watering can and see what this does. Oh, yes. Yes. Although it leaves that... Um, <laughs> leaves that. How many times can you use it? Five. Six. Please, one more. Yes. Yes. Guys, our watering can now does the whole farm in one go, and look how much energy it used. I approve of this new watering can. That's so fantastic. Oh, it's going to save me so much time and energy. I love it. Oh, we just got first friend. We just got an achievement. I just gave Annabelle some of the uh, hot spice, uh, the spiced milk that she likes. Oh, look at that, guys! We're three hearts. We're three hearts with Annabelle. Fantastic. Okay, let's see if Benjamin's working today. He is. So pay perhaps we can get our pick upgraded. I'm happy to upgrade your iron pickaxe. Two hundred fifty. Yes. Nice, we've got a steel pack axe. Awesome, I look forward to seeing how that works in the mine. Should be a lot faster, hopefully. Um, we're going to go down and see if the cat is there. So you guys can hang around for a little bit because he's just down here. Uh, I don't know, he's over on the beachfront, isn't he? Oceanfront. Uh, so we'll go down and see if the cat is there. Hopefully, uh, we must be getting close to taming him now. I've been feeding him fish like nobody's business. He's still just content. Okay, we'll keep we'll keep trying. No worries. Oh, look at this! We were just digging, uh, just randomly. I've been digging when I run along just to um, run down my energy a little bit so that I don't um, like if I'm going to the hot springs before I go down to the mines or something. I just dig to run down my energy and we dug up an Eden fruit so that's cool uh, so actually what we might do we might head over to the mines uh, drop down to level 5 
and run our energy down and then we'll go back up to level three and eat the Eden fruit uh, to restore our energy then we'll go back down to level five mine it again and if we're feeling really energetic we might even after that visit the hot springs and then come back here and mine some more so why don't you guys stick around for a little bit and we'll just see how fast this new pickaxe is so I expect it'll be maybe quicker to break the rocks and hopefully use less energy as well uh, so that we can mine more before we have to uh, go and restore our energy. That'll be cool. Um, because the mines at the moment is where I'm getting most of my cash. I mean, I get big chunks of cash whenever I harvest um, my crops, but um, the steady cash is coming from the mines. So let's see how this works. Although I think it only takes three hits instead of four it used to. Yep. Looks like it's probably still using about the same amount of energy, though. Yeah, I think that's about the same amount of energy as it was using before. Alright, let's go up and eat this Eden Fruit. So the Eden Fruits um, restore you to full energy and increase the maximum amount of energy that you can have. So this is the second Eden Fruit I've found. The first one... Um, came from winning the Silver Stallion uh, race, the horse race. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how many there are available in the game, but this is our second one. And we just got it from digging, so I don't know if that's like a once only thing, you can only find it once from digging, or whether um, you can constantly find them. I have to imagine that it's got to be uh, maxed out at some point, otherwise, you could theoretically just keep on digging and get unlimited energy eventually uh, so we're going to head back down to level 5 and mine some more uh, and I'll come back with you guys later on okay guys so I've just done a bunch of mining uh, down at level 5 um, went and took a dip in the hot springs and did some more so as you can see I've got quite a bit to cut and oh three diamonds that's nice uh, so we're going to ship all of this off and get a nice chunk of change back from it um, but uh, it's hard to tell exactly, but I think this will probably be about where we end the episode. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think of um, uh, how we're doing the episodes now. I think it's going to uh, flow a lot better, and you won't um, be sitting through as much of the same repetitive stuff and still get to see uh, all the fun stuff that we do. So let me know what you think, leave a comment. Um, if you do enjoy the episode, please go ahead and leave a like. Uh, and just a reminder, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, which is where I'll post updates if episodes get delayed or uh, if there's a change in the upload schedule like there was uh, this last week because of the Firewatch videos that I put up. So follow me on Twitter if you want to keep up to date with that kind of thing. Uh, but in the meantime, have a great day guys and I hope to see you in the next episode.